Monsters, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Visually Blind and Hero Mode. Today, it is time. This guy looks like a freaking paintbrush. His hair. Look, just look at his hair. It's, it looks like a freaking tip of a paintbrush. In this episode, we are going to go show off our lovely Triforce part we got to the gods. I know, right? It's pretty freaking amazing. Amazing. So we're gonna teleport to the Tower of the Gods. I also have something to admit to you guys. I totally just tried to record a video of me collecting all the Tingle statues, and it freaking failed because you gotta get into the God's Tower. You no, know, let's see if we can secretly try to do that, actually. You gotta get to the God's Tower in order to get one. But the thing is, when you try to go into the God's Tower, you know, that's where the teleport to Hyrule is, right? Hyrule! So whenever you try to go in, if I could sneak in, that'd be pretty cool. Let's see. Will it work? No, it doesn't work. Okay, so that wasn't all for nothing here. It's impossible to do. So I gotta record this in a weird um in a weird order here. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. There you go! Oh no, I dropped it to the ocean! <laughs> uh what's a pity? Oh, snappers. Wait, couldn't Ganon also do this, though? Because he has he has the Triforce of Power, so he would just have to show his Triforce to this place and then open it, right? Oh, what is this? Throw it on your hand. The Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is a Triforce of Courage. Proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas. And here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has bestowed upon you. Surely, from this moment on, you should be known as the Hero of Winds. Link, hero of winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's sea side safety. <laughs> it's weird, they capitalized Link there, but my name isn't a capital. It's freaking lowercase, man. And we're sinking. Come sink away, come sink away, come sink away with me. I wish there was more ships in this game, like different factions of people swimming around. And by swimming around, I mean, you know. Freaking doing crazy stuff. Can I go back in? That is my question. I must. I must know the answer to. You can. Oh man. I thought like once you did this, this is like the freaking end point. And once you did it, then you know it's like. Wait, it stays there though, right? I've actually never seen this before. Huh? That's interesting. We just go in there and it's yeah. Oh, we even have her sail up. That's funny. Well, it shows the cutscene again. No, it just teleports. That's probably good because that cutscene is a little. Long. <gasps> Where'd my sail go? It got lost in the torrential currents. Alrighty, fine. We'll get out. Get out. All right, let's go. As remember where Zelda is? It's been a freaking forever long time ago since we saw her. Oh, yeah, this place is all destroyed. Oh, whoa! This wasn't destroyed before. My statue! No! My lovely statue! It's interesting how this statue looks more like the the link from um play, uh the the, the 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 a link between worlds? A link to the past? A link a link to the past link. This looks more like a link to the past link than Ocarina of Time link, which I'm pretty sure is what it's supposed to be. Wow, I like how the, the piece of the statue broke off like so evenly, like there's there's just scabbard there. Oh, it looks really small. There's, oh man, why is this already opened? Did freaking like Gan come here and complete the puzzle or something? Jeez. All right, let's go down here. I got a bad feeling about this, you guys. Is <gasps> oh Zelda's still here though? Maybe she just went out to get like a freaking glass of milk or something, and she actually she's like, oops, and she knocked it over. The statue, that is. Not the glass of milk. Although, she could have knocked the glass of milk over, thus knocking over the giant statue and breaking it. <laughs> Zelda! Oh, my girlfriend's always turned to a beam of light! Why does this always happen to me? You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I've taken your precious Zelda. And here you shall fall into eternal slumber. <gasps> Fire! Holy crap. 
These guys look pretty freaking intimidating. Let's kick their asses, sea basses. So, although they look intimidating, they fight the exact same way. Wow, I took both. Wow, I took both of the helmet off. Except, yeah, you have to hit. Ow! Alright, this is actually a good opportunity to show off the magic armor. Magic armor! Yeah, you lose. Holy crap, actually, how much? Is it 100? Oh, it's 50, I think. Ow! Okay, 999. Oh, jeez, man! They're attacking so wildly. Wild Wild West over here. Yeah. Okay, both our armors are off now. It becomes really easy. <laughs> Look, these guys have little beards. They have little gold tees. That's hilarious. So I think the only differences are the back part of their armor takes two hits instead of one. And... Wow, that's like no damage to them. And they take more hits. Nah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So it's kind of... You know, I'm going to take this off, man. I'm kind of sad about how much money I'm losing here. How are they going to call me money bags now? Oh, he's dead. In your face, banana butthead. I don't know why he's a banana butthead for. Oh, and the fire, the fire just disappears. I'm like, how does the fire disappear? I thought maybe I'd have to, like, walk around a little bit. But, nah. All right, I'll take the magic armor off now. I just kind of want to showcase exactly what it did. Alrighty, well, I don't know what to do now. I killed the bad guys. Zelda should be safe now, right? <gasps> <laughs> Look at his shocked face. I should really take this. What? Oh. Oh, there's a forest field there. I was wondering what would happen if he tried to come out here first. Oh, boy. Onward to Zelda. Ow! Let's take this. Let's take this stupid mask off. We don't need it. You guys have seen what it does. There we go. Oh, the eyes light up and disappear. I love this barrier so much. It's really cool. It's really cool. So this is definitely my favorite part of this game, I think. Like, how beautiful the land looks around here. Ugh. I think a big part of the reason why I love this part of the game so much is because it's so different from the rest of it. Like, this this entire game, you see nothing but ocean. Then you come down here and you see nothing but land. It's great. Yeah, that's pretty freaking awesome. And then Link gets cut up out of the glass and then he dies. So yeah, now we're going to the freaking castle. It's kind of interesting because this was like... This is how Ganon's castle looked in the initial game, right? Or in the initial game. In Ocarina of Time, where it's like kind of like just like in the middle of a... Of like a valley kind of place. A plateau. It's on a plateau, I guess. It's a good way to put it. P-Hats! Ah, you're not supposed to hurt me! Come on, man! I'm at the last part of the game. I thought they killed them instantly. Also, I really like how when you chop off their hat, they have a little hair. Aw, it's not really a hair. <laughs> it's the part where the the hat spins, but still. This looks so cool, though. I love it. <gasps> Whoa, red spark we choose. You guys can't freaking mess with me. I'm a G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me, P. Uh, ow! Come on, man. Come on. Don't freaking get rid of my my G code like that. What's the item that instantly kills them? I'm, it's, I know the boot, or not the boomerang, the uh, um, thingy. Wait, I was pressing the wrong thing. Ah, stop dodging, butthole. I know the bow and arrow kills them instantly, but I could have sworn there was an item, like a weird item. Hold on a second here. Like, I don't even want to expect. I don't know. Huh. Weird. Anyways. Moblin. Oh, I hit you in the butt. <laughs> I love how they have a specific animation for when you hit them from behind. It's great. No other enemy has it. It's really goofy and I love it. I love it. I remember watching a video a long time ago where uh, a guy glitched this area out. Well, he didn't glitch. He used an action replay, which is a hacking device. Um, where you put in codes and it, like, gains you special powers, like, oh, fly in here with the Deku Leaf. And I remember him flying around here, and it's really cool because he went really far, and then you would, like, see a little, like, valley thing with a bunch of spiked rocks in there. Actually, I think it might have been, like, oh, maybe it was this, actually. 
Maybe it was that, and you could like look down there. Oh, uh, well, I don't really think it was that. I think it was somewhere that you couldn't really access. There's another iron knuckle over here, or a dark nut, or whatever the heck. I don't know the difference. Sue me, okay? Kick him in his buns. Ow! Stop that! These freaking gauntlets are blocking my junk. <laughs> Poor guy, I'm waving my junk at him and stuff. It's pretty gross for him, to be fair. Um. Oh no, how do we get past here? Is there spikes down there? Oh, there is. See, that's the kind of stuff I remember, but I'm pretty sure the guy like went all the way like over that way or some crazy like that. Alright. He's a freaking... For some reason, I remember this being... Is there a bat up there? I think there's a bat. I think there's a bat up there. For some reason, I remember thinking I had to use like my Deku Leaf or something to get here, but no, I'm being silly. Alright. Gone bats. <laughs> All right, let's go through here. All right. Oh, I crush you, skull. Just that one specific skull. Also, this room is really cool to me. I don't remember this room at all, though. It, it's really reminiscent of Dragon Roost Cavern, but you know, bigger, I guess. Oh, that's cool. Freaking Ganon over here. His own, his emblem is his own face. What an asshole. Swirly, get in tower, swirly. Josh Jefferson reference. Blah. Whoa, what is that? It's like a big pig skull with tusks and horns. It's very lovely. Very lovely indeed. Alright. So if we go up to this door over here. This bridge is really cool too, by the way. There's four symbols on here. They all look kind of familiar, don't they, you guys? I think they do. So if you look at the doors, I think each of them has a different design, right? So it has like kind of weird vines on it. That has like a that has a claw on it. So I'm gonna do this in order from the best of my ability. Ah, oh, yeah, that was a bad time to yawn, dude. Yawn, you die. Wow, I didn't expect to kill him in one fell blow like that. All right, let's go through. Let us go through. Oh, does this look familiar to you guys? Well, not really because it looks like the other room. So it's a volcano for Pete's sake. Um, I think we're gonna need the grappling hook and the deck leaf. So I think the best way to deal with this place is to do this and climb up, up, up. Really? That's unfortunate. Um, do you do it from here? Oh, there's a bubble up there. I don't remember this guy. Uh oh, this might cause issues. It probably will cause issues, to be fair. Oh man, is he after me? Oh no, he totally is. He totally is. Ah, oh, dang it. Do I gotta snipe him out? I'm gonna like make a plan here or something. See, they have all these water vases here to trip you up. I remember um, the Game Grumps having a lot of issues with this. Which I found really frustrating, but <laughs> it's the Game Grumps. What can you do? Let's see if we can hit this guy from here. I don't... I think that platform... Of, oh, no. He doesn't even appear for a little while. Until I get close, maybe? Is that how that works? Oops. I'm pretty sure I feel like this platform is gonna disappear. Oh, it is disappearing. Oh, no Was it disappearing? I can't see Let's see. I want to swing a bit because I want to see if it did disappear. It did disappear. I knew it It's weird it lasts quite a while though Oh Man, he's back dang it. How do you do that then? What the heck? That's weird Huh I know for sure you can't deck leaf across this stuff. Can I attack him from here? Uh, I can't break the skulls apparently. Ah, oh, that guy was a live one. He was a lively bunch. Okay, there we go. See, I don't remember this part at all. Maybe this was changed or something. Wow, I'm shocked I hit that guy. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't miss a single shot and all that, but there we go. I missed a shot. <laughs> okay, this should be easy enough now. Oh, no. Was, well, I, don't, I think that's just a normal skull. Pretty sure it's a normal skeleton skull. Wait, I don't know why I'm doing this. I got jumped on there anyways. Whoopsies. 
Oh, there is another. Wait. There we go. There's another skull right there. Okay, that was a fake skull. Oh. Ooh, eh. I see. I think those are bubbles as well. Alright. Oh, I just realized I'm taking hearts when I'm falling down there. That makes sense. Alright. I wonder if you can jump on these um, little floating blocks in lava here and use your deck relief to move around. That would make sense. Good lord, I thought I saw a bubble up here for a second. I was about to freak out. Like, no, I killed you! I killed you! You should be dead! Oh man, this is unfortunate. I can't hit those guys from here. I can if I wait forever, but that's not gonna ever work. What? No way! I swear, you guys, this is how you're supposed to do this thing. What the heck? I remember distinctively walking up there. Let's see if this works, though. No, it doesn't. Alright. Well. Oh, no. It's sinking. Ah! It starts shaking around. That's how I can tell it's sinking. Oh, these bubbles are going to screw me over, though, aren't they? You have to climb all the way. Oh, no. No, they're not. It's okay. They're far enough away. Yeah. Screw you. Screw you. There we go. Let me jump across like this. Wow. I don't remember that being this difficult at all. So. You notice know, this thing is like white. It's weird. Very strange indeed. I gotta sneeze. I'm fighting the sneeze. The sneeze has been. Ooh, whoa, what was that? Whoa, dude, that was trippy. What the heck? Everything's black and white, and where's my item? What the heck? <laughs> Yeah, uh, you lose all your, like, um, dungeon items, I guess. And it's the exact same boss fight as before, so yeah, we're refighting all the- Oh, no, freaking tail, man. We're refighting all the bosses from before, and the only thing in color is you and your items. <laughs> freaking Valoo, man. Thankfully, he's in this alternate universe as well. <laughs> Oh, Ganon and his weird traps. If he has the ability to make even this kind of crazy magic, you would think he would just make some kind of crazy death magic that would just kill me anyway, right? No. I just realized this is actually... Whoa, so much slowdown. This actually might be kind of difficult. Because I gotta fight, like, a bunch of bosses over again, right? And I don't have that much... Like, it's a, I take double damage because it's hero mode, and I don't get hearts. I do have two fairies, a blue potion, and grandma soup, so hopefully I'll be good, but I don't know, you guys. Oh. Okay. I do want to keep moving, because I'm pretty sure those flames could hit me. Oh, I guess. Oh, those might be able to, though. Yeah, those ones do. Alright, gotta do this quick. There we go. Yeah! Tailspin! I was afraid you don't take damage from that fox. I was like, I was freaking. I was like, no, swing your sword so you don't take full damage. So the plus side to this, to these boss battles, you don't, you only kind of have to redo them over again. When I say kind of, because oh no, oh wait, I, I want to be on this side actually. I want to say kind of because oh, I was, well we have the upgraded master sword, so. Like, when we fought this guy, we only had the normal hero sword, right? Which, I don't know what the damage difference is, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, multiplied by three or something crazy like that. There we go. First guy dead. Should we do one more? Well, we're at 20 minutes. I guess it's as good as time as any call an episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Woo! <laughs> if you enjoyed, the best way to support me and my channel is by leaving a like. It helps a lot. And by subscribing, and if you do, I'll give you a little kiss, like Link is gonna kiss a shield. Mwah, 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 mwah. Catch you guys later!